Hi, welcome to another Coding in Blitz Basic. Um, I'm finally getting around to showing you a tile, tile map editor. So I just zoom into the code here, you should be able to read it like that. Um, I'm just going to run it first. So you can see here I've got basic tile map. Uh, I could scroll around just with cursor keys, place tiles in, change the tile, put more in. and then save it, close it, reopen it and it will show me one I've just saved. Obviously the whole point of this uh, video is to show you the code that, that I'm giving you now for uh, making a tile map which is basically an array, uh, it's just a two dimensional array of numbers, just normal integers. Uh, I dimension that here based on map x and map y. Um, which I read from a file, so if I just quickly step through the code um, I set up my graphics mode, so I'm having 800 by 600 each tile is going to be 40 pixels wide by 40 pixels high I've got four different types of tile uh, I've just got a game timer just to make it, you know, just so my video runs okay I set up my graphics mode, I'll just leave it in a window, that's a 2 instead of a 1, 1 will make it full screen I have screen left and screen top. These are my offset amounts for the top of the screen and the left of the screen. So as I scroll across, I increase um, screen left, and as I scroll down, I increase screen top. I then open a map file here, map1.map. Um, if the file doesn't exist, no, sorry, if the file does exist, which is if in file is more or less than zero, in file is given the file handle number for that file. Uh, if it's zero, it means the file doesn't exist. So what it will do then is it will set map x and map y to be 50 and 20. Otherwise, it will read map x and map y from the file. That's read int in file, read it in file again. I then dimension the map based on map x and map y, whether they were read from the file or whether they were made up. And then again, if the file exists, we'll read the tile layer. So for x for y equals 0 to map y minus 1 because remember arrays are 0 up until the length of the array minus 1 not the full length uh, x is 0 to map x minus 1 and then set map x y to the number it reads in from the map file and then read another number and set it to the next uh, set it to the next cell basically in the array like it's a spreadsheet or something um, and then otherwise, uh, if it can't open a map file, it will wipe the map. So it will just give you a blank map with zeros in there. The reason I initialize zeros to the array is because um, the array would have what's called null values in it if I don't initialize zero to each, each um, cell in the array. So I initialize each one to zero. I then close the file on the way in. I then open my tiles. So I lo use load an Im image in order to load more than one frame for this image. I've got tileset.bitmap so if I go in here open tileset.bitmap you can see I've just got a strip of images here it's just going to load the first four of them I'm then going to set an initially selected tile which will be tile 2 so it's just mud I think and set buffer to back buffer because I'm going to be doing um, I want it to run smoothly when I run it. So while not key hit 1, so while I don't press escape, close the screen, and this is into the main loop now. Go through the array, one, one tile at a time, one cell at a time. Read in the tile number. If the tile number is more than 1, then draw, draw the tile on the screen, allowing for screen left and screen right. The way you do this um, is I take the image of the tiles and then for the, to get the x coordinate of it I'm taking x which is its position in the array so the array might go from 0 to 29 across say I think in this case it's actually 50 wide yeah 50 wide so it will go from 0 to 49 so 
I'm drawing the image at say it's at tile position 2 or something it will be 2 times T size, T size is 40 so that's 80 is the actual pixel it will draw it at minus the left hand side of the screen remember if we scroll across the screen screen left goes up so you need to shift all the tiles across so that's, that's why mine's screen left and then for Y it's basically the same thing Y times tile size minus screen top and then the frame number is just tile num and tile num as we've seen is what it reads out of the actual array uh, I do a quick check here saying if the X coordinate of it is more than the tile size so more than 40 and it's less than the graphics width and also Y so basically if it's on the screen draw it that's basically an efficiency thing because you could have a map that's say 10 screens across by 10 screens down if you're drawing all the tiles on that then most of them aren't going to be seen at all you're in, you only need to draw 10% of them so you save a lot of process of time and make the game, game run a lot faster if you only draw the tiles on the actual screen um, that the player's going to see because there's no point drawing anything else ok I've got my if key down commands these are just the cursor keys so you know, if the key's down, if um, if the down key is down, and the screen top is less than you know, the map height minus the graphics height, then you can move down. So it's just bounding boxes really for the map here. So you don't scroll off the end or off the bottom of the map, because then you might try and place this tile um, in a part of the map that doesn't exist, which will give you an error and crash the program. Um, I then set a basic colour because I want to draw a rectangle for where the actual tile is going to be placed based on where the mouse pointer is. It's a very long equation here, I'm not going to try and explain it all now. Um, it basically comes down to it tries to figure out, it figures out which cell the mouse is in and then times that by how big the tile sizes are um, to put it across the right part of the screen. So if I'm in cell 2, it needs to know it's cell 2, it's 40 pixels wide, so it starts at 80 pixels into the screen because it's 2 times 40. So that's basically what it's doing, and then it's minusing the left hand side of the screen. Um, that's really it. And then the same for the uh, vertical height of the box as well. That's just the box that it draws around the tile I'm drawing. Um, it's a similar sort of maths for drawing the tile, the currently selected tile. Cell tile is what's selected. Uh, you'll see I've got, I'm using mouse Z here. Mouse Z is actually the wheel on the middle of the mouse. So I'm just saying if the mouse, if the selected number is less than mouse Z, then move it up one. If it's more, then move it up down one. All that means is that I can scroll the middle mouse uh, wheel um, to change tiles, change what's selected, uh, what the selected tiles are. So, the other thing I can do is uh, I can use mouse hit 2 to go through the tiles as well, just in case you haven't got a scroll wheel on your mouse, um, then you can just use right click to scroll through instead. Uh, mouse 1 simply sets the map, the array the tile that the mouse is on to the selected tile on there, just draws it onto the map, and that's it. Uh, if you press C, it clears the map, so I just go through the array clears it, if I press S it will save the map, so it will open a file, an output file map1.map, writes out map x and map y, if you remember they're the first things we read in I then go through the array writing out what the tiles are on each cell in the array and then close the file 